Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a special, special treat for you. We're here with the uh, world champion, <laughs> the king of the baggers. We got his bike here in the back. Uh, Kyle Wyman, thank you so much for taking out the time to do this for us. Um, we're here at Indy Motorsport Ranch, uh -huh. where you're going to be here for another week or two. Yeah, I'll be here for a little while. We just, you know, finishing up our week with you guys and uh, giving you a taste of this new Road Glide and Street Glide ST models and uh, got plenty going on out here at Indy. It's, it's kind of my home away from home. Got a school next week. Gonna be staying out here until we leave for Daytona in just a very short amount of time to go racing. This will be the first race, right? Yep. And uh, are we taking first place again? Or? That's the plan. That's what we want <laughs> to do. Second, first yeah. and second place. Yeah. You're yeah. your brother. Yeah, for one, two for, for Factory Harley, that's what we want. That's awesome. And Kyle Wyman heading towards the checkered flag. And it'll be our first finisher, Kyle Wyman, takes victory here at Road America as he takes his hands off the bars and coasts across the line in fine style. Wyman will stand on the top step of the podium as he awaits the arrival of his brother. Could this be an all, all Harley Davidson sweep? Frankie Garcia, the only Indian motorcycle left in this race. Here comes Travis Wyman to take the checkered flag. All right, so we've been here since yesterday. Um, amazing day today. We went on the track with you, humbled by the fact that you guys are taking us out there, giving us all these tips on how to get on the track, um, how to be safe on a track, how to be fast on a track. Mm -hmm. um, just amazing. You have the teaching and stuff next week, right? Mm -hmm. So is that open to the public or is it something that people got to sign up for? Yeah, it's, it's that work? Champions Riding School. It's, uh, it's a program that we've been doing for Gosh, I mean, it started out as the Freddie Spencer School out in Las Vegas, you know, two decades ago. Your brother lives out in Las Vegas, right? Yeah, both of our brothers are from yeah. Vegas, but not from, but living there now. We're from New York, but um, we're actually, yeah, we've got a, a lot of different programs. We've got a two-day two program next week. We do a Champ Street, Street Rider program. Mm -hmm. We do police department training for the motor division. Uh, Marine Corps training, we have, you know, off-road training. We have online curriculum, Champ U, which is really cool. We've got all sorts of rider training, and, um, and Harley Davidson brought us in to give you guys a little bit of taste of that before we head out on track on yeah. uh, motorcycles. So, um, yeah, it's just a, it's a program I've been a part of, and it's cool to bring it here with Harley and, and the new model launch. Okay, awesome. Um, looking at your bike, and then side by side next to the Road Glide, we see a lot of things that Harley Davidson has done this year with the ST, which um, I'm pretty, I'm myself, I'm pretty happy about but most of the clientele, the customers out there is really happy with this bike. Um, obviously getting a lot of little details from your bike, mm -hmm. right? So we got the higher suspension on the bike. Yeah. We have the, you know, the chop fender in the front and the back, obviously the bigger motor. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel that King of the Bagger is kind of dripping and laying their little eggs all over the, the field mm -hmm. now? Well, I think it's really cool because, you know, performance baggers have been around for a little bit. It's mm -hmm. just kind of a growing, uh, trend that's happening and now that we're racing them on track it's just accelerated it it's awesome and i think you know harley has recognized that there's a there's something happening in in the touring you know kind of uh segment that people are hot rodding these things they're jacking them up they're putting they've always put a lot of power in them but people yeah. are doing different things with these bikes than they ever have before and and we're doing something even more different <laughs> road racing it so um, it's really cool that Harley's recognized the trend that's happening and, uh, and, and given the people what they want. High performance bagger, no frills, you know, 117, never seen before outside of the CVO models. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty special. I think the coolest factor is that you're doing something with a bike that was never intended yeah. to be done. I yeah. mean, these bikes were intended to just go across country and mm -hmm. go touring. Um, but the fact that they're on a racetrack now, it's amazing, man. Yeah. Um, now you told me you you grew up in New York. Mm -hmm. I'm from New York as well, so mm -hmm. I, I thought that was that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so how did you get into the whole racing thing? Uh, different parts of New York for sure. We're from Rochester, and um, family Harley Davidson dealership that was started in 1962. So my grandfather Harv started Harv's Harley Davidson, and it's really the family second generation now. My mom's running it. Wow. And we got into racing at a really young age. I mean, you know, five six years old. You know, racing dirt bikes and. Then we got into flat track racing, and I, I actually ran three seasons of pro flat track before I switched to road racing. Racing all sorts of different motorcycles, Yamahas, Suzukis, Ducatis most yeah. recently, and then 
and found myself back in the in the hands of Harley, which is really cool because I thought when I moved to road racing that, you know, the dream of being a factory Harley Davidson rider was really in flat track, but you know, lo and behold, we, now it's not. You know, here we are, this Harley Davidson flat, uh, you know, factory riders and road this, racing. This is the and biggest thing now, man. It's uh, it's pretty special, and and uh, you know, this is the bike we finished up the championship on. We won the last race at Laguna Seca, and and uh, the moment in the podium area where I got to stick this number one over top of my 33 was pretty amazing. So that's pretty super cool. Super proud. So obviously this is uh, the 2021 bike mm -hmm. for 2022. We're looking at a different bike, right? Yep. New bike, refining things all around, you know, brakes, suspension, a little more power, exhaust, try to find a little more lean angle. Mm -hmm. So we're still really pushing the limits of what these bikes are capable of. The cool part about the race program is that within the rules, you have to run a stock frame and you can't go more than 131, which is, you know, what we offer yeah. in a stage four or, a, you know, crate motor kit. So um, it's really trying to build around the base of the motorcycle. We're not modifying the frame mm -hmm. and seeing what we can really get out of these motorcycles. The same frame, you know, steel tube chassis that's on that motorcycle is where we start with this. So, so very similar. You're saying that this bike is basically still the stock foam bike the skeletons is what you're riding on yeah the, the the foundation of it is there it's a production motorcycle that's modified it's not a prototype so you know while we have longer forks longer shocks you know different exhaust to get off you know up off mm -hmm. the asphalt um, to give us more ground clearance you know pegs are moved you know seats way higher yeah you know tanks shapes different so we can leverage with more road racing body position yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into that, but it's so cool that like when you actually bounce back and forth between the bikes, you know, you can really feel the DNA of the production motorcycle when you're when you're riding the race bike. Awesome. And last thing, what do you ride? What what's what's your personal bike? Personal bike is a Road Glide Special 2021. I saw it today. I think it's I mean, beautiful. Of course, I have the 131 kit. Of course, I got the Scream Eagle exhaust. <laughs> of course, I got the Scream Eagle only shocks. Yeah. You know, and, and I absolutely love the thing. So um, I want heated grips after this week. You want to know something? <laughs> so uh, I actually, they actually sent me the Empire Collection. And okay. a part of that uh, it was the heated grips. Never ran heated grips before. Absolutely fell in love with them. I would never run another bike without heated grips again. I mean, it's yeah. amazing. And even when it's like, you know, 50 degrees out, it's like, It's still yeah, nice. Why not? Why it's it's still know? nice, so, man. Yeah. Awesome. Dude, thank you so much for giving us the time. Thank you, Harley Davidson, for doing this for us. Guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We got the world champion right here, Kyle Wyman. Thank you guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.